passing fancy rhinestone. Booyah. Think about passing fancy. Well, let me tell you, to work with Ron Stone, it was incredible. I mean, uh, the man had a vision from the start. I mean, he did what he had to do, and, and the movie came out incredible. Everybody did great. I mean, it, it's just phenomenal. I thought it was awesome. So look in the camera and tell Ron what you think of the entire project. Ron, I, I really, really wish you the best of luck, man. I mean, this was your vision coming true. All those years of, you know, of even thinking of the process of doing it, I'm, I'm very, very appreciative and very honored to be in your movie, man, seriously. Hope you have many more good ones, man, seriously. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, man. Yeah, yeah actually, I met Ron Stone at an audition, and uh, it was for something completely different, and he came over and started talking to me and wanted to read my audition with me. Little did I know this was like a little screen test that he was doing because he thought I looked right for the Mary character. And we got to talking, and I had done short films of my own, and offered to help with whatever he needed for his film once he let the cat out of the bag that he was doing a film. So once we got started, it was just kind of the two of us at first, and you know, then Robert came on and Bill Erfurth came on, and, and luckily um, it turned into a much bigger production than we ever expected it would be. Look at the camera and tell Ron what you think of the whole project. Ron, you rock. I can't believe how well it played. People loved it in there, and um, you just need to show it to everybody because it's going to start your career. Love you. Aaron Dalton, ladies and gentlemen. So, Passing Fancy, this is the biggest role you've had to date, I imagine, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It was my first role ever, actually, and to this date, the biggest, so hopefully there's more. And how did you become involved with this project? Um, actually, I was down here, and I was on the internet, actually, looking for auditions, and I saw this one come up, and I spoke to Ron and auditioned over a videotape that I made myself because I was out of town, and the rest is history, as they say. What was the best part of the project you were involved with? Oh God, well first off, working with Ron because of his personal story is amazing and he was so inspiring and the fact that this was my first experience coming into this, I had no idea what to expect. I had absolutely, I was like a baby and I feel like I grew tremendously, tremendously and developed so much personally and you know, career-wise as an actress, huge, it was amazing. Excellent. Look right in the camera and tell Ron what you think of the whole experience. Ron, thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You moved that entire room and you're going to move mountains. You're amazing. Thank you so much. How did you get involved with this project? Um, I basically, through my agency here, I found out about the uh, project through Universal Casting, Carlos. And a uh, funny little story, I went in for the audition and it was a scene where I del delivered the monologue during the interrogation scene. And I was just about to deliver the monologue at the audition, and Ron said, Okay, get, get, stop, stop right there, that's enough. And I said, Hey, man, come on, man, I've worked for this. Let me come in here and do it for you. And I had a chance to deliver it, and I think that's what really, uh, really got me the part. So uh, I'm certainly very grateful because it was a great project, great people, and it's, it's nice to work with people that are very passionate about what they're doing. And I think cast and crew, everybody involved, I mean, we know we're not making some uh, Steven Spielberg DreamWorks production, but. We're doing the best we can, and I think that's that's what we achieved. It's great. I'm glad to see that he finished. I think he did a great job in the editing. Some of the camera work was great, and it's really impressive that Ron did the music and did all that stuff as well, and that really impressed me. So, uh, yeah, my, my hat is off to you, Ron Stone. Good job. What was your most memorable experience working on the film? I just enjoyed being with all the people. They're wonderful, and they're very talented, and I'm serious. What about working with Ron Stone? What was that like? He's just very, very giving. He's a, he's a very talented person, and I feel humbled just being in it. Even so so look time. right in that camera and tell Ron Stone what you think about the entire experience of Passing Fancy. Well, my day there was wonderful, and I appreciate you calling me, even though it was the night before. But it was really a wonderful, wonderful experience, and I'm... I think you're a genius. I do. I think he's very talented, and I just wish you all the luck in the world. How did you become involved in this project? You know, it was kind of a crazy story. I was actually at my home up in Canada, and I kept getting phone call after phone call after phone call about this story, about this script. You got to read this script. So I said, you know what? Email me the script. I'll read it on the airplane when I fly back to Miami. I read the script on the airplane. I thought it was a great script. Carlos from Unique Casting, Universal Casting rather, he calls me up. 
and he wants me to come in and meet Ron. I met Ron. I wasn't 100% sure. I had just gotten done doing Bad Boys 2 and a couple other things. And wasn't what was your role in Bad Boys 2? I was the uh, technical advisor to Jerry Brockheimer and Michael Bay, plus I had a principal acting role in that movie. And I, I was doing some other things for Bruckheimer at the time, some research and development, so I wasn't sure if I could really do this or should do this. And when I met Ron, I realized what passion this guy had. Amazing, amazing passion. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna give this guy a shot. And the rest is history. I mean, obviously, I made the right decision because the man is tremendously talented. When I tell you that we did this on a shoestring budget, I put my money into this, Ron put his money into this. It's just amazing. I mean, it, it took us a year to get this movie done because Ron, Ron really was a, a one-man band. Literally. Literally he was. I mean, he did the editing, he did, he did the well, I mean, The music, the soundtrack, he was a one-man band in the music yeah. alone, let alone the editing and all the other stuff. Exactly, literally. So. Uh, Anyway, it was tremendous, and this is his big night, and I can't be happier for him because he's a person that I've met that is a genuine, good, solid individual. He's gone through hell and back. This is his big night, this is his movie, and many more to come. What was your most memorable aspect of working with Ron in Passing Fancy? One of the most memorable aspects was just truly his, his talent. Was there a specific incident that stands out in your mind? Well, there's a number of instances, but I have to say truly, I, first of all, I don't think half the people, 90% of the people honestly here, realize that the guy could sing the way he sang. And um, I'd be going over to his house where he was editing the movie, and he was literally putting together two, two songs, a week wow. and I would sit in his living room where he had his home studio and I would listen to these songs and I was it, it was amazing Atlantic Records has actually looked at and listened to his wow. music and have talked to him about that and there's a there's a bit of an issue as to you know rights for distribution does that is that going to include the music can he make a separate deal for the music soundtrack? So all that's in the process, but I have to say that that blew me away more than anything. Fantastic. Bill Erfring, ladies and gentlemen, executive producer of Passing Fancy. All right, thank you very much. Writer, director, musician, composer, editor, actor, and own stunt double, Ron Stone. <laughs> Did you have a good time? Absolutely, great production. Everybody's impressed. Uh, we got some great comments on film. And uh, you got some great stuff in the film, too. Thank you very much. This is just the first of many. This was the first tiny, low-budget one, and we are on the move for bigger and better things very, very soon. Amen to that. And seriously, any aspect of what you did up there is head and shoulders above so many other people's. And you did, you, you was it our tour? <laughs> it's because people pitched in and worked 100%. And I, and I truly appreciate it and love everybody. So. And you went a million percent. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Peace. In a world filled with spine-tingling mystery, <laughs> intense drama, and heart-pounding suspense, this movie has none of that crap. <laughs> I don't look for trouble. Trouble is for me. Oh, wait a minute. Who stole what? See? See those guys? They're trying to kill us. I'll explain to you later. Right now, we gotta get out of here. Come on, dude. They won't catch us in the water. Catch up to them! Now or never. Woo! Hey. 
That is fantastic. You think that's cool? Check this out. You think that's funny, huh? I need that phone, okay? Some mad gnarly ruckus dudes.